Welcome back to my channel, everyone. I am back with a shoe haul. I'm not sure how many parts I'm gonna end up filming this in, but I really wanted to go ahead and share with you some of the shoes that I've picked up lately because I've actually started wearing them. So um, it's gonna be kind of a mix, summer, spring, winter, fall, no specific brand, no specific color, just um, a refresh of some shoes that caught my eye. Um, I've picked these up over the last several months from a bunch of different places. Now that I'm, again, starting to wear them, I thought I better pull the plug, share them with you, and then I can put them all away. So, the first pair that I have here um, I have actually already worn three times. They are from Anne Klein. They are um, considered, they are actually called the AK Lafayette. So Anne Klein Lafayette, and I have them in cream and black. These are kind of a nod to the Chanel inspired ballet flat. Like, the Audrey Hepburn, very classic taupe and black. I have already worn these three times. Um, I've worn them actually four times. I've already worn them into the office twice this month for work. Um, I wore them last night out to dinner and I had them on again today. I love that it has the really shiny patent uh, toe cap. It has a little dainty bow, but I love the Ancline charm on the top and then the quilting in the taupe, which is a soft leather, just to me just makes it even more chic and makes it look a bit more elevated, a little bit more polished and um, more of a statement piece. These are out, I believe, of the Anne Klein Sport iFlex collection. And I've got a couple of pairs of sandals out of the Sport collection. And they are super, super comfortable. So these are the first pair. Great for travel. Great to throw in another bag if you, you know, are maybe starting out in heels or something that isn't quite as flat and may need to change later in the day. As far as bags, um, these are neutral. So you can wear these with practically anything in your wardrobe. But for bags for me, um, black, taupe, my uh, bones, ivories, my ecrus, beiges, those would be the ones that would likely end up uh, being paired with this gorgeous pair. So I had these on today, so I'm going to actually slip these back on and go to the next pair. The next pair is a, a pair of slides, and they are by Coolaburra by Ugg. So here is my uh, disclaimer on these. I do not know where the whole fuzzy sandal phenomena came from this summer, but I just can't get with wearing fur on my feet in summertime. Eat, whether it's sheep's fur or faux fur, to me, faux, fur and summer just don't go together, right? Even for animals, their coats get lighter in the warmer weather months because even they don't want all of that around. So I decided that was not going to be a trend for me, but I did find these from Ugg and they are slides. They're considered summer slides, but because I never go barefoot, like unless I'm at the beach, I'm never barefoot in the house. I thought that these would be my slippers or slides for the winter, for the fall, for the winter. Like in the house or running to the mailbox or taking the trash to the curb, um, or just when I'm lounging around and want something to slide my feet into, 
so that I'm not on um, the carpet or on the hardwood or the tile because all of that gets to be cold. I thought these are neutral. They go with a couple of different um, uh, robes that I have. They are pretty neutral, so they'll go with all of my loungewear. And I was able to scoop these up for $24.99. And these, again, are Coolaburro by Ugg. And no, listen, if you got with the whole fuzzy shoe thing this summer, more power to you. But just the thought of that makes my feet hot. Um, so here is the name right here. I'm assuming it's Ishani. I-S-H-A-N-I, and you've all heard me say before, I've got a size 10 foot. So those are the slides. The next pair is actually a pair of summer sandals. So I won't be wearing these anytime soon, but these are by the brand Unisa. Um, I first, I think I introduced to the Unisa brand my sophomore year of college I ended up going home with a friend um, for the Good Friday holiday weekend and it was like short sandal warm weather in Tennessee but it was not that weather when I got to Ohio um, Easter weekend and it actually ended up snowing Easter weekend that year while I was in Ohio. Needless to say, I was not packed appropriately. So I had to make a mad dash to the mall to get a couple of things to get me through the weekend warm weather gear. And a pair of boots that I picked up then from Unisa lasted like 15 years. Like really good leather um, they were super warm, and because of the longevity of those boots, I became a fan of this brand. So these are actually kind of, I don't know, Valentino maybe inspired, but they are just kind of a flat slide in black, and then they have this silver sparkle 3D hardware on them. They look, I think, a lot better on the feet than they probably do just here in my hand. Got a little bit of lift here in the back. Very lightly padded in um, the, the ball of the foot area and the heel. So a little bit of shock absorption. And they are pretty flexible. The inclines are flexible. Um, I think I can break in the slides from Ugg but they are not uber flexible out of the box. Let's see, maybe I got that wrong. They've got a little bit of give to them, but they do have a pretty thick sole, good traction here under the bottom. But I think that that will soften a little bit uh, with use. And these are the same way. They'll be broken into and here is the footbed for those. So these will uh, get an opportunity to see, you know, either some tropical destination before warm weather returns here to Georgia, or uh, they'll be in rotation next year for the warm weather season. The next is just a pair of neutral wedges that I picked up for work. They are by the brand Life Stride, and they are called, I think they're called Groovy, and the color is taupe, and they're just plain little everyday business basics, but they've got some nice padding in the footbed. I've been able to stay in these all day. And I have a couple of pair of shoes from Life Stride. I'm really particular when I buy from them. I wanna make sure that I know what the actual construction of the shoe is because sometimes they use faux instead of leather. So these caught my attention. Great price point. Again, a basic neutral 
that will blend in with any and everything that um, can be dressed up or dressed down. Just a really good basic for work or for church or, you know, you can do it with pants or skirt, but definitely in the professional space for me, I don't see this as really being a casual pair. So here we go with the Life Stride Groove in the color taupe. And there's the TPE for taupe there. And then the ones for Unisa. There's the information for those in black. All right. This pair you've actually already seen, especially if you follow me on Instagram. I share this pair when I picked up the Coach Double Swagger in the color Chambray. And I absolutely love these. So you've got the Queen B, and they are in a kind of a shiny metallic thread blue, soft, great cushioning. A little bit of um, espadrille vibe, but in my opinion, far more comfortable. They are from the brand Sam Edelman. I uh, have been a long time wearer of Sam Edelman, and I don't know that I realized it. But many of you probably remember the Sam and Libby ballet flats from like way back in the day. My sister and I had every single color um, of the ballet flats that that brand made at the time. Well, what I didn't know then that I know now, Sam of Sam Edelman and Libby, his wife, um, that was kind of the start to their brand. So this one is... Um, Sam Edelman, the uh, the husband, and this is specifically from their circus line. So I like the little fun vibes. These are really lightweight, super cute on um, the feet. And I guess you can tell that for the most part, everything I've shown you so far has either been a wedge or a flat. Promise you there are some other things, but I really like these with like denim shorts or chambray dress. I've got a couple of totes that are in this color. I, of course, have the um, double swagger that it pairs well with. Cute with denim, cute with, I mean, it. they're just a great pair um, of shoes. And I love the little queen bee. Uh, theme on the front reminds me of my nickname from my family. So there is the Queen Bee from Sam Edelman Circus. The next pair is also Sam Edelman and I ended up pulling these out and wearing them last weekend to brunch. I had on a taupe tie waist dress great for a fall day but I felt like it was kind of blah, right? I felt like I needed a little bit of something to spruce up, jazz up, offer some personality to kind of the very neutral dress um, that I was wearing. So I pulled these out also by Sam Edelman and these are called the Lorraine and they are animal print. And I know flats and animal prints are an acquired taste and not every foot style or foot size um, likes this style, but it was so cute together. And I have been on an animal print kick like bags, belts, shoes. So you'll likely see a couple more variations of different um, animal prints. But these add just a little bit of pizzazz, little personality and polish to an otherwise pretty bland, basic wardrobe. They were very comfortable. These have the crash or crush heel, which I don't do, um, but you can actually put your 
heel on the back of these and actually kind of wear them as a slide. I've got a thing from my childhood about walking on the back of shoes. We just did not get to do that at my house. So I doubt that I will ever crash the heel. But um, I do like that there is the option if I go rogue one day and decide to do it. It does have this little cute um, hardware detail across the vamp of the shoe. Has a little bit of lift here in the back. As you can tell, it is calf hair. So lots of texture, great rich color in the print, and I love it. There is some extra padding in both the heel and in the ball of the foot. Love that it's a bit of an almond toe so that my toes have room to wiggle around because if you've been with me um, for a while, you know that my toes do not like each other. Not a fan of pointed toes. I need something so that my toes can freely move around. Love that there is the black leather trim, little bit of a wooden platform um, in the heel. And then there is also some leather piping that encases the top vamp again of the shoe. No goring in the side panels here, but I did not find um, that I needed any additional stretch because the shoe was just that comfortable. And it does have a pretty um, strong foot, um, a sole, but there's a tiny bit of give. I like to have just a little bit of give, if not a whole lot of give in the uh, base of my shoes because my foot bends. So why shouldn't my shoe um, do the same? So these were very comfortable and I look forward to wearing these again. So here they are. Let me get those right. And I have, like I said, I've already worn these once. And they were an all day easy wear and I just wore them barefoot. No slips, no slides, no pantyhose, no tights, just bare feet and it was great all day. And then the last pair for this part of the video is a pair from Echo. And these are the shape 55 Plateau in the color titanium. And this is in European sizes, so a size 42 for me. And then, let's see here. So I, have been on a gray shoe, gray boot, gray bag, gray clothes. I guess I'm just preparing for gray for the winter. So when I saw these with a little bit of a heel, a little bit of a lift, I could not pass them up. So they can be dressed up, dressed down, great with dresses, skirts, jeans, uh, slacks, they have a little bit of a lift here in the front as well, which actually helps to balance out the heel so it's not as high as it may look because of the uh, platform under the footbed. It is a stretchy kind of a sock feel. So when I put my foot in here, it just kind of feels like it's in a glove. Lots of flexibility here in the toe and at the ball of the foot. Very comfortable. Um, lightly padded in the footbed. So it should be comfortable for the better part of the day. And it is a man-made fiber. I was hoping to get this either in suede. It picks up everything. You see that? I was hoping to either get it in a suede or leather, but this I think is a faux um, micro, or not a faux, it's a micro fiber as opposed to a suede. So it, I think it'll, it will wear well. I've had shoes um, from this brand before, it's European and they've lasted for a really long time. 
have them in a couple pairs of um, casual tennis shoes and a pair of uh, sandals. So I've been pleased. So I thought, you know what? I cannot go wrong in adding a gray pair for the winter, especially one with a heel that will allow a little bit more um, flexibility in how I wear style the shoe. So that's it for this first part. Um, as I said, I'm already wearing some of these, so I'm gonna probably try to squeeze in a couple more videos and post them sporadically. But I wanted to share these with you so that um, if you are uh, in the business of pairing your bags and shoes, Maybe these will give you some uh, inspiration ideas. Thank you so very much for watching. Until next time, take care.